Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 30th of December Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Sabinus. Saint Sabinus uh, lived during the early church period under the persecution of Diocletian. So Diocletian, as we know, was one of the worst persecutions in the church at that time. He had a governor of Etruria uh, whose name was Venustician. Venustician uh, was a devotee of the, the Jupiter God. So one day he made all his subjects, all the people of the town, to worship uh, the little statue of Jupiter, which Sabinus and uh, his people rejected because Sabinus was the bishop. He and his subjects, they did not worship Jupiter. As a result of which, uh, so everyone was tortured and Sabinus was also uh, tortured because Sabinus not only said no, Sabinus was so daring that he went, took the Jupiter statue in his hand and he broke it there. As a result, both his deacons were raked, they were killed and Sabinus' hands were cut and he was put into the prison. Once Sabinus was put into the prison, in the prison he, he once healed a blind man of his eyes and that person was able to see as a result of which all the all the all the prisoners converted to faith and they came back to Christ uh, looking at this the governor Venustician who himself was blind by one eye called for this great saint Sabinus Sabinus went and healed Venustician and later Venustician and his whole family converted to faith this angered Diocletian very much and all of them, Saint Sabinus, his companions, Venustician, the governor who became a Christian and his whole family, all of them were beaten to death. But they died, they died willingly for Christ. His hands were cut, yet he brought so many to faith. Those who were his enemies, so-called enemies, so-called persons who wanted to kill him. Saint Sabinus brought them to faith. Love your neighbors as yourself. Love those who hate you. Love those who persecute you. This is true of every believer. What am I doing with people who hate me, who are doing wrong to me? They cut his hand and he gave them salvation. He gave them Christ. What are we doing to people who are doing wrong to us? Big question. Small answer. Let us reflect. Amen.